Hey, I'm Chris Hartman. I am in a first aid and safety class, and I wanted to present my first aid kit that I was planning for my uh, career, which will follow my education here at UL. I have uh, plans to be a physical education teacher for uh, youth. So, in addition to the first aid kit that I'm going to show you, I was going to be sure to have an AED with pediatric pads and adult pads, and <clears throat> I wanted to have an uh, airway resuscitation mask, which I plan on uh, purchasing as a barrier shield. And then I also wanted to have uh, something uh, to blow air or an AMBU bag. Um, in case someone should have a problem with uh, their heart or their breathing, was the rationale for those. And then also, because it's physical education, I wanted to be sure to have any sort of splint that they may need. The, the first aid kit that I'm going to show you just has the basic supplies. And it has a lot of bandages and dressings in case there was uh, some sort of wound. But if there were a broken bone or something that they might need a splint, I would want to have that for them. And then I would be sure to have <clears throat> as my fifth item that would be necessary for teaching physical education. I uh, would think that it would be important to have something to help transport someone who was hurt, um, like a, a device such as a backboard or a collar. Uh, so those are the items specific to the profession that I plan on going into. And these items are in the first aid kit that I keep in the car. What I have in here, and this is something that I got when I ordered, I thought it was uh, really nice. It has a neat little guidebook. And in the guidebook, you can uh, reference uh, when things happen. And it has a lot of general principles, and it's very helpful. Um, <clears throat> here's a little pair of scissors to cut dressings and bandages, like if something were too tight. Uh, here's some bandages, more bandages. And of course, it's always important to have latex gloves so that you can you do this process uh, cleanly and neatly. So there's a nice little pair of latex gloves in there. I have got a, um, uh, uh, some dressings. I have gauze pads in here. And then I have a larger gauze gauze pad. Um, Oops, it's upside down. A bandage in case uh, someone has uh, a wound that's bleeding. I have several dressings. Now, if I were to get a large toolbox and put more of these in, in there, in case I need them. And then here's my tape and my scissors, and they're on top of them. Um, on the other side of this little kit are some of the things that go along with those and more bandages, such as a uh, skin prep. Uh, and antibiotic ointment cream that you put on the band-aid. Uh, skin cleanser, more bandages. Uh, sting relief ointment and tweezers in case someone to, to be bit by uh, an insect. And then there's a um, uh, towelettes which uh, are for, uh, these are antibacterial, these are wet ones, and then these towelettes are uh, antiseptic. These are preparing something uh, for dressing and bandages. And then here's a cold pack, which is uh, um, really useful in case you need to um, put a cold pack on on someone who's hurt. What I have uh, here are a uh, quick guide to burns and eye wounds. And so I think that keeping these guides in here is important. And these supplies. And then additionally, I mentioned the, the very specific ones to um, caring for um, children who participate in physical education activity or teachers and adults, I mean, someone in a school, you need to have an AED and an ambu bag, a transportation device, splints, 
and then a bar barrier for um, in case you need to take it to get them oxygen and you didn't have an oxygen supply. So thanks for listening. Have a good day.